How's it going, fellow bangers? It's Gina for Carfight Calgary. We're back with Sean with another deck profile. Always back. Always back. Always back. And uh, we have a few Bermuda deck profiles to go through, so let's start with this one, shall we? So this is this is the prism deck profile. You have to start with this Meruru thing because uh, you need the counter charging thing. Akari sucks unless you want to play Amelia. Anyway, so this is your new forerunner that has harmony and its abilities. Generation break one, put this unit to your soul when your other unit is returned to your hand from graveyard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do counter charge one, choose one of your vanguards and until the end of the turn it gets a con. If this unit's in harmony, all of your units in your front row gains 3000 power. So uh, the 3000 is kind of irrelevant unless you have like grade threes boosted by 7k's or something, or like just grade twos with no boosters, then sure, I guess. But other than that, it's not that useful. I it's just useful for the uh, counter charging because I don't know, this deck eats resources really really fast. So, yeah. uh, well, I guess I should do this. So I run 4 heals because you, know, you run 4 heals. So, uh, yeah, it's not much to say here. Um, I run 2 fundies. One for to get soul. And two, because uh, Loris really needs like draw triggers just in case you fall behind and all those shenanigans. It's, so you won't really deck out because I run Legion in the deck, so it's okay to get away with two. And I think uh, it helps you sit in the meta well. If you run 12 crits, then you run the risk of getting blown out just randomly. Uh, I run 10 crits, I guess. Fuck. Here you go. So I run 10 crits. Um, I don't think you need to run stand triggers. You can run the new one, the new stand where you can soul charge it and draw a card, but it's uh yeah let's I don't think the gimmick is worth it, nor is crut worth it, like the gimmick. It's, you're better off with crits because you have um, effectively four strides that have dual crits so you can keep like threatening your opponent at three damage so they, they can't take any more damage for like four turns in a row so that's that makes it really good so i recommend you play at least 10 crits or at least eight i guess so that's it for triggers so i run four perfect guards i run the non-harmony ones because you need to counter charge again the deck eats resources really fast and the harmony perfect guards are you have enough harmony units i guess so you don't really need to run that and uh it's not that good because all it does is so blast one and return to your hand at the end of the turn like it's just useless so just run this uh i run i run three shizukus because uh i run nine grade threes in the deck so 3 is good, and uh, Shizuku helps you filter out cards, like grade 3, such that, so that you know you can uh, check more triggers and stuff like that. And also because I run a lot of like so-called Tekkens in the deck, uh, you kind of need to run Shizukus, at least for my deck. And uh, it's just like 3 pluses really, so I, that's really good. Um, I run one Anya because uh, it's just a Tekken for making my non-harmony units into harmony just to help on out on the Loris turn. Um, the other thing is that uh, it helps make power lines. So its ability is uh, Generation Break 1 when this unit becomes harmony. Uh, Choose one of your other units, and then you know it gives harmony. And this other ability act, which is not in Generation Break One, is a uh, plus One rest this unit. Choose one of your uh, uh, choose. Sorry, all of your units in, in harmony that in the same row and column as this unit gains five thousand power until the end of the turn. So you can like use this rest and then make like a row and a column gain power, and then you can bounce it back with Loris's skill on the main phase. So this card is really good. It makes power lines. It helps Loris. But I think the the biggest thing that people will not see is that because I run Twa and uh, Riviere, you can put this behind the Vanguard, perform Legion, now you're in Harmony, uh, rest and you give your Vanguard basically 10,000, so your Vanguard restands twice at 31. So that's a, it's, a, it's a really powerful tech and I recommend you run at least one. Uh, I run one Kura and one Nina because they do the same thing. It's a Soul Blast 2 counter charge 2 um, when placed on Rigor Circle. Again, the deck eats up a lot, a lot of counter blast, so you have to run these things by hook or by crook. Uh, last great ones, I run not Nina's, but uh, three Shandies. Uh, you want to ride Loris first, so you should run at least three Shandies, and they help you with striding. So, there's not much to say here, basically. You want to stride every turn anyway, so... So I run two speakers, um, everyone knows what a speaker does. Uh, effectively, I think I'm going to cut one speaker and put in one more pot curry, but um, you run two speakers because he helps you with the multi-attacks on your Olivia turn. When your opponent's at five, it becomes very powerful. And uh, you can also, it's not very good with the uh, Loris turn because you lose the power on bounce, but it does make multi-attacks 
really to help you end the game more so than uh, pushing for damage because you push for damage using your lore stride and this thing kind of clunks with your lore stride to say the least. Uh, I run two Rikas because you need to get soul for the Ninas and uh, you need to get soul for Ninas and you get soul for uh, your Kura, your Vita and whatever else that soul blasts and uh, like Alprina and it also counter charges. Um, the only bad thing about this is that you have to do it. It's mandatory when you bounce it. Um, otherwise, it's you need to run. You need to run like at least four or five like things that can unflip in the deck, because the deck uses up way too much resources, way too fast again. Uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. oh yeah, and it combos really well with uh, your. Okay, so it, 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 it combos really well with your Loris's ability uh, on bounce, so on the, during the main phase, so it really pays for like your, all your costs. So there's three Amelias. Um, I run three because of resist, also because of huge hand generation engine, because you do counter charge uh, a lot, so you can actually get away with running three. Uh, I, you can make like huge hands which really helps you defensively and offensively in that sense. Um, also because, I, I guess, I, I really hate the cargo matchup, so I run three Harmony, uh, sorry, resist units, I guess. Uh, the other thing is that with Rika and Amelia, you do deck out really fast, so I recommend you run at least like, run at least a Legion in the deck. Run two uh, Satya, Satya's ability is Harmony, Carablast 1, choose one of your other Rhaegars in Harmony Rested, and this unit gets 5,000 power and auto when Generation Break 1, when this unit attack hits the Vanguard, uh, counter charge one, soul charge one, and then choose one of your other regards and bounce it. So it gets on hit pressure, but this is usually my right target. Um, I rarely ever use it unless I need to uh, pressure really hard on Dolores' turn because I have a potpourri. And potpourri is honestly like the MVP grade 2 other than Amelia, in my opinion, because it gives a lot of on hit pressure and it really helps. Uh, uh, it really makes it such that you know your opponent doesn't want to let. Like your first few strikes hit, or your or your mid game strikes like Loris hits because of all the crits, and then then there's this thing, which might make you plus even harder. So they won't let it hit, hit either, and you can really wrestle your opponent into submission basically, even though your opponent keeps himself at three. Uh, and then the last way to I run one Vita is attack in basically its ability is soul blast one, return it into your hand, and bring up any turns main phase. You may pay the cost if you do choose one of your great one or lower cards and call it to Rayguard Circle. And then if you have a great 4, greater vanguard, you counter charge 1. So you can use this to counter charge, or you can use this defensively with Loris to proc a GB2 on your opponent's turn, and make your uh, Loris 16k, or your other and your other rearguard like 14 or 16k, basically. So it's really good as attacking, I think. Um, you should run 1. Uh, so yeah, I run, it's a Loris deck, so I run 4 Loris. Um, everyone knows what Loris does, this is your stride break, this is your main right target, and you really want to ride that all the time uh, until late game, I guess. So I run. I said I run the Twa Legion. I do run one Riviere and two Twas. Um, you could get away with one one, but the moment you damage one, then uh, you kind of feel really bad. So I recommend if you're going to run it like that, run three like that, like two Twa one Riviere, just to help. The restand helps you end the game really fast, and uh, the Legion in itself also helps to prevent that out and makes it such that after you filter everything out and then you can put in triggers, you're going to be checking a lot of triggers. So. Yeah, and then your last grade threes. I run two speakers. Um, speakers ability is harmony, and then generation break one when this unit is placed on regular circle during your battle phase. Uh, this unit and uh, when a unit, sorry, is placed on your regular circle during your battle phase, this unit and the called unit gains two thousand power. And you have turn. And the other ability is Car blast one, soul blast one when this unit attacks a vanguard. If it's in harmony, choose one of your other regards, bounce it, and call back another unit. And that's basically it. It's not generation break one, so you can if you go first, you can use this ability. Uh, the other thing is that. If you call this thing with like, you know, a 7k booster on the, or a 6k booster or higher on the Olivia turn, like in a column, you make a 21k line. So I recommend you play at least two speakers because they're your good rearguard grade threes and uh, they help you make multi attacks which help you end the game just like your other speaker. Uh, going into your grade fours, I run one Frederica and one Somni. Uh, basically because sometimes you can't, you won't, if like you want to bounce Amelia's. Like the old way, then you have to use Somni. You can't use this unless your Amelia is already in harmony. So I recommend you run one of each. Uh, this one helps you pressure more with more power. So yeah, it's nice to have attack one and usually use either one or the other unless your opponent's really like you know, at like low damage and you just want to pressure him more. So yeah, just run two, or, like one of each. Um, I run two Alprinas because I run triple um, Amelia's. 
and also because there's Rika. So has good it has good targets in the deck and basically I only ever use one. The other one is meant for Loris to flip up really to be honest. Uh, so I run to celebrate voice Loris. Um, Loris is your new GR from the set, its ability is Harmony and then Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, choose, up, choose a face down card from your G zone, turn it face up and for every face up unit in your G zone, bounce one of your regrets. There is, and this is good because it happens during the main phase. And then th this unit gets, when this unit attacks a vanguard, if all of your units are in harmony, uh, choose up to 3 of your units and gain 3, 000, uh, 4, 5,000 power, and this unit gains a crit. So you generally want to use these after the uh, either the Alprina, the first Alprina or the first Somni or Frederica, and one after another generally, because they help you bounce a lot of, you get all your bounce stuff, on bounce stuff active, and it also pressures your opponent really fast and pushes your opponent to 5 really fast. If you use one Loris and you push your opponent to 5, generally you don't need the other Loris anymore, so what you do after that is you drop your Olivia's, which are over here. Uh, everyone knows what Olivia does, so I'm not going to go into it. And uh, Olivia is only there when your opponent's at five. So essentially, you do have um, effectively one, two, three, four uh, units, four strikes with two crits, and four strikes that pushes the game really fast. Like uh, pushes your opponent to five really fast and tries to end the game really fast. So you should play around these, and you generally use like in this combination of four, you only use uh, three of them generally, and you win the game. If not, you go into Twi and you'll win the game right after, so yeah. Uh, because I run a Legion, I run one Madu just in case. Um, it's just there, really, to fish out the Twa. I run one Sabrina to prevent the Great Stuck game, and you do have counter charging engine, so it's not the worst, even though you might not want to use it all the time, even when you have the chance. Uh, I run three Leonas. Uh, Leonas, your new guardian, and the fact is, when this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, you choose one of your, you may choose up to one of your Ray Guards and return it to your hand. If you return one, you have to call one to the Guardian Circle, and if the same name, um, that unit gains 5,000 power, uh, 5,000 shield value until the end of that battle. So, this can help you proc your Rikas, your Emilias, whatever, during battle phase, and plus whatever, um, but it's just that you have to call a unit back if you do do the bounce, so you don't really plus, you like net even if you overguard. Uh, but the main thing is that because it bounces, it makes it really powerful. So I recommend you run three because it helps you reset your fuel for harmony if you run out of and stuff like that. And the last grade three, uh, sorry, stride or whatever I run is one Nasha. Nasha is your fighters collection, 20k generic one for Bermudas, and it helps you get uh, just 20k shield when you don't need when you read 20k shield and you don't want to use this thing's ability really. So. That's it for the deck profile. All right, that's, that's the deck profile, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned. We're gonna be uploading another deck profile from Sean. So look forward to that. And as always, my fellow bankers, for sure to sign the dedication. See you in the next time. Bye bye.